Welcome to another One Love Review. Um, today, we're gonna do something for the kids, sort of for kids. Um, it's a small, tiny appliance. Um, it's the Nostalgia Mini Waffle Maker. Um, I hope I said that right. But it's not just really for kids, because it's for us. I <laughs> mean, <kids> grown. <laughs> this is for us. She does have grandkids that are small, so yes. when they come over, she could use this to make them some. But we can use it as well to make um, different things. So we're going to try out some waffles, and then we might try something different just to see what this thing can do. But to begin with, we're gonna open this bad baby and let y'all see what it is, so. It's cute, the box is cute. Yeah, so we picked this up at Walmart. Um, they had tons of them. Um, I think this was a couple of months back though. Um, these are also on Amazon. So you can pick them up on Amazon as well. So as you can see, that's, I don't know if that's the front or the back cause the back has that on it. Got the back fat right there. Um, nothing really on the sides. Nice, fun color. It's weird, because we're always doing big appliances, and now we're doing this little thing, and it feels weird. <laughs> I'm used to having, like, the, the, pressure, the pressure cooker. And He's the, a big man, so everything that he buys has to be used. You gotta go big or go home. That's the saying. Okay, let me the, get that. There's the book. She's gonna read it. I'm just going My mini waffle maker. So it comes with the book, some styrofoam keeping in place, ain't worried about that. Comes with a little plastic baggie. Put that up the nerve. Well, I mean, realistically, how many times do you really have waffles, right? Unless you go to a hotel. Ah, excuse me, sir. That's why I do with all the boxes. We care but about the product. Little, but this is a little box care about the product, babe. Oh, gosh. So you were saying? Usually when you eat waffles, you're like at a hotel and they have that little waffle maker thing and you make your waffle. And but when you go home, you really don't make waffles. Do you? We, we, we don't. don't. Yeah, we don't, but I know there's a lot of waffle makers out there, so. Okay. I know they have the big waffle irons that you can do all this stuff with. So here's a, it's very simplistic, not much to it. You got three feet on the bottom, um, from the front, swivels up, got the swivel action going on now. Um, this is a five inch um, tray, it, it's a non-stick. There's the front. So this is the power indicator. I think it also lets you know if it, once it's warm, after it's preheated. So make sure all the paper stuff is out because it says make sure all uh, protective paper and wrapping. <laughs> all right, let's plug it in. Okay. This thing, see what this thing do. So there's no power switch. Huh? No power no. switch. You just no, no. plug it up. Unplug it, please. Well, I because I have to wipe it before we put okay. something in it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We got to clean it before we put something in it. Get in there. So, make sure you clean your appliances before you use them. I think one time we didn't, everybody was like, oh, you gotta clean it first, so, yeah, whatever. But we, we, we heat, preheated it before we even used it. Yeah. So if you haven't seen the Kasori's, we've done two air fryers of theirs that are amazing. Um, check those out. They're really good. And actually, we're going to use the um, the toaster oven air fryer to do our chicken to go with our waffles. Cause we're going to have some chicken and waffles. Okay, go ahead and plug it in. <laughs> I get to plug it in now. So you removed all the protective paper and wrapping and all that stuff. It says. I don't know if you can see that, but the little light is on. Find a dry it's... level. Preheat the appliance by closing the lid and plugging into an electrical outlet. The indicator light will illuminate, signaling that the unit is heating up. Okay. So. Yes, yeah, it's, it's lit up. Okay. I wonder if it has a second lit. Is that could, Prepare your ingredients outside. while the appliance is preheating. Okay. She already prepared ours. <laughs> Voila. When the indicator light shuts off, the unit is ready to cook. So when it turns off. Pretty That's simple. Because usually it's when they, 
it turns on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very simplistic. Raise the lid here. using the handle. Use an oven mitt or hot holder to prevent accidental burns. Do you want an oven mitt, mister? I don't need anything. Okay. If he gets burned, that's on him. And I'm a guy. And then you we're gonna this. spray a little bit of the pan. On the nonstick surface? Yes, it says uh, spray the upper and lower cooking surfaces with a nonstick cooking spray or lightly coat with a small amount of vegetable oil. Uh -huh. So we'll use the pan. Pan. Uh, note the oil helps protect the nonstick quality of the and cooking the surfaces. Carefully pour batter into the center of the lower cooking surface. Know the amount of waffle batter needed may vary based on the recipe or brand of batter mix used. Do not allow the batter to overflow. So we don't really want to put it, we just want to put, um, oh, you see the smoke coming up? Is it smoking? Yeah, I mean, you're all on it. Can't you just see it? Look. <laughs> Oh, okay, I caught it. I caught it's it. It's right here. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. It took okay. me a second. I couldn't see it. It's, it's eluding me. Ah, steam may release from appliance during cooking. For your safety, avoid contact with steam as it is very hot and can cause burns. Uh, Once steam. waffle is cooked, to your preference, raise the lid using the handle. Remove the waffle. Well, how do we know the waffle is cooked to our preference? Um, do you keep checking it? But it, number 10 says, once waffle is cooked to your preference, raise the lid mm -hmm. using the handle. Remove the waffle using a heat resistant nylon, silicone, or wooden cooking utensil. Okay. Well, the light went off. We can start making some now. Do not use metal utensils as they may can, scratch and damage the cooking surfaces. Can, can we just jump in? Because all this reading is boring. We want to see it cook. We want to eat. Okay. We want to make it happen. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to open it with the lid and I'm not going to burn myself. Mmm, butter. Mmm. <laughs> It says don't overflow, so I think that might be enough. If not, we'll figure it out. Kapow! And then it says only use wood or I don't, I do have a wood, but I'm gonna use this one. Are you talking about no, me? No, I'm talking about the wooden thing. You're talking about me, right? I was just trying to see what the, oh, I hear it. It said, eat me. Okay, so it's 9.07 mm -hmm. or 9.06 because my husband put Seconds. Me. It's seconds. It's seconds. It should be the same. It should be the same. It will be in a couple of seconds. Um. How long say to keep it on there? It does not say. Oh, see? Come on. That's not a good thing. Is that nostalgia? Because it says once waffle is cooked to your preference. How am I going to know that it's cooked to my preference? Because I can't see. I don't know what's going on there. Um, see, but put in the comments, how long, if you make waffles, how long do you usually put them in? I don't think it's going to be too long. Lift it. Yeah, it shouldn't be. I like, think we Maybe should, a minute or two. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really make waffles. But I see it steaming. I would want to. <laughs> It's steaming pretty good. Can we just raise it to see? How long has it been? I'm not it's sure. It's been a minute. Okay, well, let's raise it to see. Raise the roof. We're not really sure, so we're just gonna. Hey, we're gonna test this thing out with y'all. That's what the review was for. Ooh. You want me to do the honors? Absolutely, I'm not getting burned. Uh, Kirkpatrick. Oh, that looks Pretty. Oh, I would keep it in yeah. a little longer. Okay. So one minute. But that looks four. nice. Yeah. Could use a little bit more Look batter to round it out, but you know. Okay. While you do that. Uh huh. I am gonna come over here to our air fryer. She's going to the kasuri. And I'm gonna put toaster oven air fryer I to do our chicken it. strips. So. If you haven't seen that review, please check it out because this is a that's that appliance there is amazing. 
And we're gonna do a follow up review on it too. We're gonna cook I make some everything chicken hens in there, or hennish hens, or one of those Porsche birds. Hens. Pigeons on a stick. <laughs> no, not pigeons on a stick. All right, let me let me check this. Mmm, it's looking golden. Yeah, but it's still a little too soft. On the side, yeah, yeah still. It looks pretty though. Probably could have put a little bit more batter in it, but to round out the sides. The second one, I'm, I'll put more batter in it. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just a little bit, because you don't want it to overflow either, because then it's going to go drip all the way up through there, and then you have even a bigger mess to clean afterwards. That's okay. No, it's not okay, because I'm the one who cleans. Yeah. This is for everybody. Some of y'all don't mind a little bit coming off the sides. Just cut it off, clean it up. No big deal. As long as you got a full waffle. So I mind. You use it how you see fit. There's no one size fits all. Mm. Bam! Peekaboo! Do you want to take it out because you keep rushing it? I'm in a hurry. Not really. I'm just, that's the first one. That's number one. Actually did pretty well. Yeah. It's golden. We'll see here. Go knock out this second one. And we'll leave it in a little longer. There you go. I think you're good. All right. All right. All right. So we close that at 19, couple of seconds. Literally, it was just a few seconds, so that's pretty mm -hmm. good. And, um... It's still like two minutes. Let's see what it looks like. How many minutes did you put it for? It's about two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, yeah. Looks fluffy. It's definitely cooked yeah. inside. It's not raw or anything like that. It's nice and golden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. So if you want to make the children some waffles, bam. They're not too big, so you know, little mouse, little kids, little waffle. Actually, it's pretty good. I like it. And I, I will tell you this, when they said that the steam comes off, it is a lot of steam and it's actually on the on, on, the, on table, the counter. On the counter, yeah, on our so iron. So if you have a like a cutting board or something, you might want to just put it on there and set it on there. Or if you don't mind just cleaning off the thing when you're done, no big deal. Just steam the water. You gotta clean it regardless. So if you're anything like me, you're constantly cleaning. Well, in the moment, you'll be all right. It, it, it is hot. Keep your kids away from it. It's hot. I don't know, the handle probably not, but that lid gets pretty warm. Yeah, almost two minutes there. Close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need more time because yeah. it's a full one. You have yeah. a full one, yeah. That, ooh, that one was good. <laughs> that one's mine right there. That one's mine. That thing is looking too And it didn't good. overflow, so what I did was I wasn't sure about this one if it was going to overflow if I put it in the middle if it was going to expand so um, I just put a kind of like in the middle this one I kind of filled up everything but I didn't go all the way to the corners and then it expanded to the corners yeah just enough so another good thing is that you can lift it up and it doesn't get like stuck to it or anything because it's oh, not yeah. stick so mm -hmm. that's actually pretty good yeah it's gonna make for an easy cleanup too you can tell yeah. Let's see here. Just don't use like any Brillos or anything like that. Oh I, man, yeah. I would probably, I mean, if you want it a little Another bit golden, minute. yeah. Uh oh, got a intruder alert. All these lights attracting your net. All right. How many minutes has it been? About three, two, two and some seconds. So a couple more seconds to be. And it's again because it's a it's a fuller. Mm -hmm. Did you want some uh, butter with yours? Yes, I like butter on my pancakes and my waffles. So with that being said, let's see how my waffles looking. Oh, Kurt Patrick, look at that! Look at that there, man. That's 
That's a beautiful, nice golden brown waffle right there. Are you ready to take it out? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's get her out of there. Oh, oh yeah. Look how nice. Yeah, you got that. You got it. This is the first one I made. I wasn't really sure how much to put in. And so it came out a little smaller and his came out like perfectly round. Mm -hmm. Almost like if you bought the frozen waffles. Yep. Okay. Yep. So maybe you want to unplug that for right now? Yeah, since we're not going to be using it anymore, we're not going to make no more waffles. Just let it cool off. Let it cool off. Put some butter on my waffle. There you thank go. you, thank you. A little bit of syrup. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to wait for my. I want to wait for my chicken strip. Yeah, it'll be good. To go with my chicken and waffles. Let's see what these taste like. And yeah, we just got some regular chicken strips from your neighborhood store, aka Target or Walmart, whatnot, grocery store, whatever. And um. So you can get whatever chicken strips you like, or make your own. We didn't make our own this time. Maybe next time we'll make our own, but we're just gonna eat some regular, I think it's, I don't even wanna say the name of the company because they suck. No, it's chicken. not. It's not Tyson. Oh, see, she said it anyway, like. Oh, well. Like, oh, yeah, they can hear it with this microphone. <laughs> oh, well, it's not that one yeah. anyway. You know it's not. Yeah, no, no. Go ahead and put some, uh, Syrup. Okay, well, this is very self explanatory. Yeah, um, this is a very simple product. Very here. clean left it. Yep. I'm just going to take a, a, a dish rag with warm water and soap and just wipe it, wipe it down, dry it, and that's it. Yeah. Just wipe the, just because he touched it, maybe for a little grease or whatever, but it's so simple. Yeah, that was quick too. I yeah. Mean, it's just literally a, a few yeah, a few minutes a few minutes and done and that's what the bloopers in there and everything i mean if you was just trying to get them done you could psh, psh, knock them out real quick the kids uh, would have a stack of waffles how's that chicken though i'm ready for some chicken and waffles. um i i put it in for 10 but i don't even think i need a 10 so i mean well we'll pause for a little break till we get our chicken i gotta have my chicken with my waffles Okay, now we are back and we have our chicken and our waffles ready to go. Um, this thing's still cooling off, even though it's been a few minutes, but uh, I can see, got my chicken, I got my waffles, and I'm going to have a little bite with my chicken and my waffle. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, hot. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Who came up with chicken and waffles? I know it's a southern thing. I know some probably some black folks came up with, but who? Somebody Google that and let me know. Cause that's just perfect, sweet and salty taste. Mhm. Mm mmm. I went to Roscoe's chicken and waffles in Hollywood, California. Oh. The lines are always long there. Guess he's gonna say in ATL, shouty. <laughs> <laughs> in California, it's a big thing. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, it's full good when you start dancing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that. I don't dance no more. Too old for that. Mm. But I can enjoy some good food. That's good. So, to sum this all up, simple, effective utensil. If you have kids, perfect to throw together some waffles for them to eat on. Get and you some even chicken. for yourself, adults. Oh, yeah. If you want to have a chicken and waffle type of night, your kitchen doesn't get dirty, you put the chicken in the air fryer, it's juicy, it's tender, it's crunchy, still mm -hmm. crunchy and crispy. Mm -hmm. And you make your waffles in there, and bam, that's it. Yep. Easy cleanup and good food. Yep. So again, that is the nostalgia, 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 <laughs> mini waffle maker. Um, I think I want to say it was only like ten bucks. 
10, $12, or something like that. Very inexpensive and very easy to use. So if you get a chance, go on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link for it in the description. You can just click on there and purchase yourself one. And um, I'm gonna finish eating my waffles and my uh, chicken. So uh, we'll see y'all in the next review. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Hit, hit the thumbs up to let us know that you like the material we're doing and our reviews on these products. And then hit that notification bell after you subscribe so the next time we upload, you'll be informed. Until next time, eat good and um, have you some chicken and waffles because they delicious. Peace. Until next time. Mm. Put some butter on my waffle, baby. Mm -hmm. And Kirkpatrick. <laughs> it had to happen eventually, and there you got it. A wow. blooper. Live and direct. Think I'm cutting out? No, I ain't. It's staying in. Yeah, I did it. First for everything. As long as uh, my seats are not getting. Yeah, you might want to go ahead and we'll let her it get that. It is what up. it is. Y'all see it running down the side. No, but I put the seat in. Okay. So it's not going in there. Most of them went in there. Inside the bowl. The bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so with that.